Hello, my name is Steve LaCroix. I'm the clinical manager for EMS products for Mercury Medical. Prior to coming to Mercury, I spent 30 years with St. Petersburg Fire and Rescue as a firefighter paramedic. I've been a respiratory therapist since the late 70s, and I've been an adjunct instructor at St. Petersburg College for the last 25 years. Now we're going to be talking about the NEO-T Infant T-Piece Resuscitator, the only one from Mercury Medical. The NEO-T can work off any standard flow meter that you may have in your facility. You won't have to buy any special equipment to make it work. It can also work with a portable tank. You can see that it hooks up to the regulator that uh, goes on a standard E or a D cylinder. So it does, doesn't require any purchasing of additional capital equipment. According to the neonatal resuscitation protocols, it's always a good idea when you're ventilating a patient of this age and this size is by using a blender. They also, the same protocols, talk about using a T-piece resuscitator over a bag valve mask or a high flow mask of some sort because you get more consistent pressure, you get more consistent volumes. It also cuts down on the fatigue of the rescuer uh, because it's just a very tiring thing to do if you have to do it a, a very long time. Now, the first thing we want to look at is we have two different types of NEOTs. The first one has a six foot long corrugated tubing where the PIP controller actually hooks to the flow meter. That the flow meter could be a fairly distance from you, but that's where it would hook up to, and you have your corrugated tubing, and you have your pressure manometer, which is up at the mask, so that when the person is doing the ventilating, they can see the pressure that you're using. And we also have a PEEP on the end, your positive end expiratory pressure. That's the resistance that the patient has to breathe against. We also have an inline NEOT. As you can see, this one, it's hooked to a flow meter. There is no PIP controller at the flow meter, which can be an advantage based on how far the flow meter may be away from the clinician. You'll notice that the PIP controller is only 12 inches away from the mask. This makes it much easier for the clinician to be able to make adjustments instead of having to reach back to a flow meter, which may not be in close proximity. This has the standard DISS connector, so it'll also hook up with no problem, such as the other NEOT and it comes uh, with a mask. We have several different types of masks that can be ordered to go uh, the design that you desire. The NEO-T is designed for uh, patients that are 10 kilograms or less. So this is, uh, this is for the small infants and newborns. Now the first thing that you want to do, and I'm going to demonstrate that here, and there's some numbers that you may want to remember, is you're going to turn your flow meter on to 10. That's the first number we're going to do. The second thing is we look at our PIP controller, and we're going to put that at what we call 12, which is really on the face of a clock, the 12 o'clock position. Our goal is to have 20 on the inspiratory side in your PIP and 5 on your expiratory side with your PEEP. But to get started, you got to put it somewhere. So we're going to go 10 on the flow meter, which is going to help with this. You're going to get 12 here. And our adjustment on our PEEP will be the turning of this blue knob, which I really like to have is five. To measure that, to make sure that we have that, we come with a cap that's tethered to it so you can't lose it. That's helpful. You could put a test lung on there. You could even put your finger over it. I like the idea of using the cap. Now, to test that, you put your, your, the cap's covering one end, your thumb goes over the other, and you can actually read and see what your PIP pressure is going to be. If you take it and do it this way, take both of them off, you can actually see what your PEEP pressure is by adjusting that, and I've got that at five. Now, the directions of use for this device is gonna tell you somewhere between five and 15 liters. If you put it on five, you're not gonna be able to get probably the PEEP pressure that you wanna have, or your PIP's not gonna work to what you'd want it to be. 15 is probably too high. You're gonna get up to, or have the ability to get to 15 uh, centimeters of water pressure with PEEP. Uh, however, in most cases, that's not necessary. You may have to make some adjustments on some infants strictly because uh, they may have those first few breaths after birth take a lot more pressure to open up the alveoli. They may have a surfactant problem that may cause them to have a little bit more pressure to also open up uh, the airway. So you take your cap off. You put your mask on. Now when you're looking to resuscitate someone of, of this age group, a mask, the proper size mask, will cover the nose, the mouth, and part of the chin, and not covering the eyes. Places we want to avoid are the soft areas under the chin that can occlude the airway. I also don't want to hyperextend the head too much. That also can occlude the airway. So I'm going to put the mask on. I'm going to try to keep my fingers in what some people call a CE 
type configuration with the shape of my hand, but I want to keep my fingers on the jaw and put some pressure in to get a seal. This is where the easy part comes in. Instead of squeezing a bag with no consistency, all I do is put my finger over the hole. If I put my finger over the hole, and then I watch for chest rise. To have something as simple as this, that I can watch my pressure when I do it, I can change my, my uh, pip to get the, uh, the chest rise that I want, it's a much safer device than what we're currently using. Now we do have some additional products here for Neo-T that you notice do not have a pip controller, does not have uh, a pressure gauge on it. This is designed with a universal connector to go on to uh, some of your capital equipment uh, that's out there that you may currently already have, but it does give you the, the T-piece part and the peak part as far as the, as the ventilation. Thank you for your interest in Mercury Medical's Neo-T Infant T-piece Resuscitator System, the only one. For more information, contact Mercury Medical.